Great Canadian company. I want to welcome on stage Marie, who's the CEO and founder of Sampler. Hi, everyone. I'm Marie Chevrier. I'm a Toronto based startup. Yay! Welcome to Collision. Welcome to our awesome city. At Sampler, we help brands distribute product samples in more targeted ways. Instead of giving out samples randomly on street corners, brands are leveraging the digital world where they can actually connect with consumers. Get, grab some data and actually make better business decisions moving forward. So the thing is today, I'm not here to talk to you about Sampler. I'm here to talk to you about welcoming competition into a brand new category. So about four months ago, this happened. The largest, fastest growing retailer in the world entered our space. And at Sampler, we saw this as a growing opportunity for us. And here's four reasons why. As a startup, you know that it's really, really expensive to drive, brand, to drive awareness around the problem that you solve, right? When you're working with brands, you're trying to tell them the problem you solve, they don't fully understand. And then all of a sudden, a big giant like this drives a ton of awareness to your market, and that's a positive thing. The second thing is partnerships. When Amazon joined our space, we understood that it would displace a ton of other players in the space, other people that actually compete with Amazon, like physical retailers or even platforms like Snapchat or Facebook or Instagram that also need to find new ways to actually deliver physical product sampling through ads. And so that actually built our partnership with Snapchat. And I'm so happy to say that now Snapchat actually resells Sampler. So there is ways to see opportunity in times like this. And that's really the lesson I want you to learn today. The third thing you should think about is the fact that oftentimes when we're talking to investors, they might love your brand, they might love what you're building, they see your traction, but they often struggle with the why now, right? Have you ever heard an investor ask you why now? Well, this is a good why now, right? So what happened for Sampler is I was actually in the middle of fundraising. I had a term sheet, but there really wasn't any urgency around the round. What I ended up doing is when I saw the news, we ended up writing a thesis about what that meant for our business. And we actually sent it out to every single investor that we were talking to. And within 72 hours, Sampler rounded out $3 million. So sometimes these types of things can be blessings in disguise. And now I don't have so much time. Happy to talk to you about this at any time today. We do have a booth in the Growth Lounge. Last thing I'll say is never underestimate the fact that you and your team have been building what you're building for a very long time. You wake up every single day, and what you do is just reiterate and reiterate on your problem, and that's a competitive advantage in any market. Nice to meet you.